Twisters, yeah. Well, congratulations on season three. Uh, what has it meant to you uh, for this season for Jamie and just like the overall arc for him across these past three seasons? Um, it's meant that I get to wear more ridiculous clothes <laughs> because we see more of him. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, the, the cool thing I think that, we, that I have had um, as an actor uh, is that we get to see the journey, the challenges that he faces on screen. And I think oftentimes you don't necessarily get to do that. You don't get as much time to be able to explore those things. And so, yeah, it was, uh, that was really special to go through that. But also like going, like when we meet his mum and he goes back to Manchester, that was such a joy. I loved filming that episode. Um, <laughs> because it was just like, yeah, this is, we get to see behind <laughs> Jamie's curtain and see what's going on, um, how the sausage is made. Uh, and, and I think it just, you know, that's, it was such like a gratifying way of doing it. Uh, and I'm proud, like, I don't know, is that weird? I'm proud, I'm proud of him. Sweet Jamie, proud of him. I don't think that's a weird thing. Like, you should be proud of him. Like, he's really come such a long way from when we first met him to now. And he was really somebody that, like, we all found ourselves really rallying behind and rooting for. So, like, it's been so cool to see that journey for him. Well, I'm glad because I think that it would have it, it would have been very easy to let him slip into sort of, like, archetypal douchebag, which I don't really... I, I, I have to be the one who is, like, the most... You know, I, I sing his praises more than anybody else because I have to because... If I think that he's acting from like being a bad guy place, then it's not gonna be a very interesting thing. But I think that we've sort of seen that he's had his little idiosyncrasies all along that we've like, you know, that the writers have put in there that meant that we were like, there's always a little flame being held for him or candle being held. Someone's holding a flame. What? It's insane. Words. <laughs> words, words. <laughs> So uh, for you, uh, as a person, as an actor, what has uh, Ted Lasso uh, meant to you? I think that it has meant um, gainful employment, which is a big one, and uh, street cred because I'm on FIFA. So that's probably the, be the best thing from it. But uh, I don't know, man. I mean, you know, I think that it's been a really cool thing to, like, w like what a thing to be a part of. Like, it doesn't, none of us take it for granted that, that it's hit a chord and, like, it doesn't very often happen when you're an actor that you are a part of things. So like we're just holding on for dear life. Um, and so we're very proud of it, but also for it to be out there in the world is like, it's a cool thing. Like it's a cool thing that people care about it. And uh, I think that it's a cool thing that, that people like are on screen trying to be better, failing sometimes, but like trying again and people loving them regardless. So yeah, it's nice and it? it's nice. It's, it has such a great message for out for what we need in the world right now. Preach. So uh, thank you so much for chatting with me and congratulations, Thanks, truly. Mate. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations on season three. Um, what has it meant for you uh, now that the entire uh, season is out and um, all the journeys have come to an end? All what's come to an end, all the, uh, all the stories. All the stories yeah, so, yeah. so far. Yeah, so far, yeah. Well, um, a lot of them have, but there's sort of even if there isn't a season four or any spin-off or anything you can tell that the characters are in a new place and it's a change-up episode for a for a conclusive episode mm -hmm. at the same time and the show's always got a couple of things going on at any one time so uh, you know i think it was such a satisfying show and it was chaptered out in such a brilliant way as well you know the the match itself was just incredibly exciting moving ridiculous and funny you know with Isaac McAdoo kicking the ball right through the net <laughs> it was awesome yeah yeah uh, well you mentioned uh, you know that there are some kind of like loose ends for you as a fan like what uh, what stories would you like to see explored uh, should Ted Lasso get more stories spin-offs of season four well, you know, I don't know whether it's happening here, but, you know, women's football is, is in the UK um, since we had, you know, success <laughs> really recently. has really had a, a torch shone on it, and it would be great to have, a, to, to switch it to that, you know, to, to be about a, a, a women's football team. And, you know, um, and what there aren't enough stories about that yet, so that's, that would be a really fresh dynamic. Um, 
don't they know who I am? How dare they? Um, there's, it's just so convenient. there's so many things that could happen. It would just depend on, uh, you know, if you had the very, very talented creatives who worked on this show and nurtured it so beautifully and, you know, checked every detail of, of uh, you know, I mean, Jason's brain is just an incredible brain and he will have reference points for himself going way back. He, he referenced, uh, I mean, um, James Lance didn't know <laughs> that Trent Krim was gay until season two, well, he wasn't really sort of highlighted, but he was in the, uh, in the pub, May's pub, and Jason came over to, to James and said, by the way, you're leaving with that guy. You know, so th there's, all, there's all these little things that are kind of like, there's a, there's a seed for everything, and, and they're just, so it's taken care of so well, and, and that's cool. I agree. Like, I loved the way that they paralleled season one, you know, at the end of this season. But thank you so much for talking with me. Uh, Higgins is one of my favorite side characters, so it's been a pleasure watching you for the past three seasons. So. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. No problem. Cheers. Cheers. Congratulations on season three. How are you feeling right now? Thank you very much. I, I feel both excited and sad, but happy, but nostalgic. Um, I've been watching the last episode four times already with friends, family, and it brings me tears all the time. Um, and I, I was, imagine if we were, cr if I'm crying by watching it, you can imagine how we were when we actually shot it. And, and it's, I just think, a perfect ending for the season three, and whether it's the end or not, we'll see. But for now, very grateful with the journey. Yeah. So, oh. and we have light again. <laughs> you brought the light. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we all brought the light. We, yes, we did. Um, so it seems like there's a lot. Uh, there's been there's quite a bit of loose endings at the end of the finale, um, with so much potential for spinoffs. What stories would you like to see uh, further explored in the Ted Lassoverse? Well, I mean, yeah. There's there's you, you have all of the AFC Richmond team. There's a potential just by all all the team going to the Champions League. Uh, you have the woman team, you have, uh, I mean, every single character was so well developed that that's why all the fans won spin-offs for all of their characters. I've heard things about Danny and I just, um, I thank them because that means we did a good job. But if you ask me, I, I love Phoebe, I love Denise. I want to see, I want to see her do stuff. So, uh, but everyone is amazing and, and, and we'll see whether there's more things out there. I, I hope so. I hope so too. I mean, I think we all hope so, you know. What has it meant for you uh, as a person, as an actor, to be involved with this series from beginning to end? It, it's, I've learned so much as an actor, uh, just being on set, seeing how things go very quickly all the time, just being in the moment, learn fast. Um, I just learned from Jason, Brendan, Joe, Bill, the writers, how to... to to work with actors and and how you can get the best out of actors if you if you work about who they are as people. Um, just the work on set, the kindness all around. People that started being uh, runners now are first ADs. People that were extras now are actors, and that's just the spirit of Ted Lasso, just giving opportunities. And and me personally, uh, it's it's allowed me to to introduce myself out there as a filmmaker and creator. I'm developing my film company, Spectrum Makes Films. I've done three indie films in Guadalajara. I hope to bring more projects to America too, and and. And just give a little bit back as well, and and be the people I truly believe in, uh, friends from Mexico, from London, from America, and we're getting there. And, and I'm forever grateful with with Ted Lasso for that. Hey Billy, how are you? How are you doing? Nice doing good. I see you. So I see you again. Yeah, see you again. Yes. Yeah, 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 just jumping around. <laughs> um, congratulations on season three. Uh, how's it meant to you uh, for? Uh, Colin's arc this season, how it ended with such a romantic ending on the on the pitch. I mean, I couldn't 
we couldn't want anything more for, for Colin, really, could we? And it's so funny that I can now fully talk about the whole arc. You know, he got his kiss at the end. There were so many, so many of the Colin Hughes Ted Lasso fans that were like, because I said in an, in an interview that Michael will be back again, so my, my, my boyfriend. And uh, they were like, is Billy like, oh my God, if he's not, if not telling the truth, like we haven't seen him. And it went, I, it was like the very end. So I'm like, just wait guys, just wait. So now you've seen it. Now you've seen that Colin has got his wish, you know, from what he said in, um, in, in Amsterdam. So yeah, no, I, I couldn't be any more happier. That's so awesome. <clears throat> um, it seems like uh, with the end of the finale, you're good. Um, with the end of this finale, it seems like everybody has a lot of loose ends uh, as far as like where they could go from here. Uh, what stories would you like to see uh, continued on in the Ted Lasso verse? I mean, there's so many. Of course, you know, you've got Ted that's just left, so you know he could start up a, you know, ideally a, I don't know, a women's soccer soccer team. There was that clue there. There was the changing of, you know, AFC Richmond and not Ted, and then KVLH. Uh, Keeley's part there's so many there's so many different avenues that this show could go down so you know I'm rooting for a Trent Krim Colin Hughes Euro trip you know where they go across Europe and tasting fine wines and Colin um, you know Trent takes Colin under his wing again and they drive off into the distance going to France to Italy to Germany you know that's that's what I'm looking for all right one <laughs> last question for you what has it meant to you uh, being a part of Tad Lasso these past three seasons I mean, it's it's one. It's completely changed my life, um, and you know, I've, I'm doing stuff and I'm experiencing things even now that it's just had a knock-on effect from Ted Lasso. That it's, just, it's all positive, and you know, I say it all the time that I've been in on that set reading those scripts since day one. I was like first day of filming, and I, I'm a better person for that. To be in that environment, to be listening to, to be the first people to hear Ted's speeches, you know, um, it's changed changed me for, for the for the better. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Just like coming through, you know. Yeah. Good to see you again. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, congratulations on season three. Uh, how are you feeling now that the season has come to a close? How are you feeling about Will's arc this season? Oh, you know what? Will, we've slowly, silently watched him grow into a more confident person. Like his story has begun, you know? Uh, I was an emotional wreck watching that last episode. There's literally a photo. I took a selfie, sent it to my mum and dad straight away after watching the episode. I'm literally, I've literally got tears running down my face. It's, it's not a pretty sight, but I feel like it's an accurate representation of how everyone was feeling that, that day. But you know what? We're, we're happy. We're good. A like, good time to celebrate. But yeah. I got to say, it was very cathartic seeing uh, Nate be the assistant to the kit man in that finale. Uh, how did it feel uh, working with uh, Nick there in that scene and kind of getting him a taste of his own medicine a yeah, little bit? I I'd miss Nick so much. Like, literally, when we did um, the scene in episode 11 where myself, uh, Billy and uh, Collar come and confront him, it was the first time we have actually had a scene this season together and obviously Nick and I had a few scenes together last season so it was so good to just see him again and get like just catch up on everything because we were dropping messages being like oh have you read this bit coming up we can interact again so it was so nice and obviously get, get, letting him have a taste of his own medicine icing on the cake you know icing on the cake so as far as the end of this season goes it seems like Ted is the only one that has like most of uh, his uh, story arc wrapped up, and there's a lot of loose ends le left hanging around. What what would you like to see? Should there be a, a, a spinoff in the Ted Lassovers? Oh, oh, so I think the most obvious one is AFC Richmond, and it follows both the male and female potential football team. But me personally. I've, I said it before, I'll say it again, Trent Krim, I want to see what's next for, for Mr. Lance of Jimmy, personally. I mean, I just want a copy of the Richmond Way at this I point. I do as well, I do as well. I don't know if they're making it or what, but it, like, as soon as I find out, I'm, I'm buying, I'm going to be first in queue, oh, yeah. literally, get signed as well. So last question for you, uh, what, what has this entire uh, involvement with Ted Lasso meant to you, uh, just personally, as an actor, all of it, you know? I feel like it's because I'm I'm in the early stages of my acting career, if you if you if you will, um, and it's helped mold me into into who I am right now, and it's been a, a complete. I think a stepping stone would be the word to use, but even that would not do it justice at all for how how much it's meant to everyone, both 
the lessons we've learned whilst being on the show, uh, believe be a goldfish um, about toxic masculinity. It's 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 so poignant, and I know I speak for everyone, the fans included, when I say like it's it's definitely helped all of us. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Charlie. Thank you, thank you so much. Congratulations, truly. Really. <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Meredith. Uh, Meredith. Uh, Hello. Uh, Theo, right? Yes, Theo. It's such a pleasure it's, it's to be here. Oh, aren't you? Congratulations <laughs> on all of Ted Lasso. I have thank to know, you. what was it like for you uh, bringing uh, actors and this crew together uh, to create uh, this, these characters that we love so much? Well, it was huge fun because I was bringing in some of my favourite people that I'd know, you know, that I'd been tracking for years. And what was really exciting about it was that the creatives were open to they didn't, you know, they didn't have to be famous, they didn't have to be well known. So I had free reign to just say, okay, you need to see Nick Mohammed. He's amazing. <laughs> I love Nick Mohammed. Loved him for years. So that was really cool. We didn't have any restraints like that. We we could just cast freely, um, and the creatives chose all the best people. Uh, and so last question for you, uh, what has what is uh, being involved in the Ted Lasso process like meant to you? Like what is this series also just meant to you? Well, it's life changing. It's, it, you know, uh, who knew four years ago when I got that pilot script that it would turn into this and that all you guys would be so into this show. Um, you know, it's really heartwarming and it's, I'm so proud. I'm so proud and I'm so grateful to be part of the journey. Thank you. Congratulations. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, I do. I swear. For sure. Hi. Hello. Congratulations on season three. How are you feeling now that all of it is out there? It feels weird. It feels like it's like for so long we were waiting, 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 and then now it's like, oh my god, everybody saw everything already. So it's uh, it's sad, but it's great, and we're proud of it. So it's uh, it's a weird feeling. Yeah. What was it like for you when you read the script that you were gonna get the mask of Zorro? See. It was so much fun. But since uh, since season one, I knew that that was gonna happen. I didn't know how or when, and so I was just waiting. I was like, because. It's so funny because when, when uh, episode 11 came out and my nose was broken and I had the mask, everybody was like, oh, like I got a lot of DMs and messages of people being like, oh, you, you guys should have gone back to the mask of Zorro. Like, what a missed opportunity. And I was like, <laughs> I really wanted to say something. I didn't say anything. But then people saw it and then it was, it was great. It was, it was a lot of fun. So it seems like at the end of this season, there are quite a few loose ends hanging, uh, potentials for some spin-offs. Oh, yeah. okay, sure. what, what would you like to see explored next in the Ted Lasso verse? Should we get more? Oh, uh, sh what should, a lot of traveling, I think. I think that would be cool, you know, a few games in Spain, a few games, you know, in Amsterdam again, you know, in France. Just traveling, a lot of travel would be a bust. <laughs> a travel show with uh, yeah. AFC Richmond. <laughs> exactly, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah on the road. <laughs> so, uh, on the whole, like, what has Ted Lasso meant to you these past three seasons, just as a person and as an actor? I mean, especially this season, uh, when... Uh, Colin comes out to the team and and we and um, Danny Rojas says that we don't care which is a real feeling but saying it out loud was very it's, it's, it's not what you're supposed to say and a lot of my friends um, who are gay sent me messages telling me like yes this was so correct because it's so dismissive to be to be told that, oh yeah we don't care because we do care you're you're we're friends and we love each other and so when 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 I saw it on the script I was like wow and it changed me in that second. And uh, I kept doing that to my friends without them understanding what I was saying. Because they would just say something and I would be like, I don't, I know, I do care. I really care and you're my friend. And, da, da, da. and then they, when they saw the show, they were like, oh, so this didn't come from you. You just lied. Like, you just acted like you were the one that came up with that. But it was on the show. So, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, congratulations on this season, Thank truly. Thanks. Yeah. All right, guys. Take care. Hi. Hello, girls. How are you? Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. And also, congratulations on season three of Ted Lasso. How are you feeling now that it's all out there uh, and uh, just this season overall? How do I feel? Um, well, I feel sad personally, but more and more, I think the fans are trying to understand. They understand and they, um, they ask for more, obviously, but maybe they get if we stop there. Maybe we'll have more. I have no idea. So I'm trying not to overthink and see what happened and just, just enjoying it. Yeah. 
So, I mean, it seems like there's a lot of loose ends to explore with Ted Lasso. There's a lot of loose ends to explore with Ted Lasso. What What would you like to see uh, further? Explored? Tricky question. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. I don't want to overthink it. I don't know. There's, like you said, there's so many to explore. After season one, I was like, okay, we covered it. And I, I've seen the script of season two. I was like, okay. Yeah, there's much more to talk about than I've seen season three. I said, okay, well, I'm wrong, so, so I have no idea. So what is what is Ted Lasso meant to you um, as an actor, as a person? Uh, what is the series meant to you? Well, obviously, it was a life changer. I've learned so much um, as an actor and as a person, too, and um, you get to, to know people like you get to know to be very close to people and uh, and almost intimate I mean we share we share stuff that are that, that are very personal and it's really a part of us and we know each other so well so so it was a uh, it was almost private and uh, and everybody had a good reception with what we did so so it's a great feeling trust me yeah. okay last question for you um, there was a joke last season about Wrexham, the team that Rob McElhenney and Ryan Reynolds, uh, they bought the Welsh Football Club. Um, if Richmond were to uh, play Wrexham, who do you think, which team would come out on top? No idea, it's not about coming on top or not. <laughs> it's not about winning, I have no idea. But it would be fun, that's a good idea. I should try, I have to train tomorrow morning, start to get ready. Well, congratulations on this season, and such a pleasure talking with you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Pleasure. Hi, James. How are you? I'm good. Uh, I'm, congr doing. I'm doing great. Congratulations on season three. What has what has the season meant to you, and what has uh, the series as a whole meant to you? Oh my goodness. I mean, the series has meant that. Uh, well, I, I mean. I've got to uh, play more, and that has just meant everything for me as an actor, you know, because it, 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 it's, um, it's, it's a bit of a dream come true, to be honest with you. I really believe in the healing power of comedy, and this is, I think this is doing that. This is really helping a lot of people and connecting a lot of people. You know, sometimes I'm walking down the street, and a dad the other day stopped me and just said, thanks for the show, and I was like, great. And he said, no, I really want to thank you, so because I've watched every episode with my son, and it's brought us closer together. <clears throat> and we hear things like that all the time. You know, this is the show that family, the, people who love each other want to watch it together and that is like pretty cool so it's meant that that's really thank cool so thank you so much yeah, pleasure thank, thank you. you you're willing to talk <laughs> hi how are you i'm good how are you yeah very good very well thank you i love your suit thank you fabulous right now thank you so much so congratulations on season three of mm. what is it meant uh now that the entire season is out how are you feeling Good because now it's uh, it's uh, it's it's there. It's out there. You can like uh, binge it, you know, because that's the culture that we we've grown accustomed to to binge. And uh, I think that's that's great. And I think it's now there to be a classic. And it's it's already been like such a big show. I just know that so many people love to binge. So I'm excited for for it to be more of like one whole complete thing, you know and to see where, where it's going and it's all already been going to like amazing places and just with some amazing fans and yeah. yeah. What does it mean to you uh, being involved with Teth Lasso? I believe you joined in season two. Uh, what has that meant for you to be a part of this series? Um, well that was a very unique moment. I, I don't know how to really describe it because it was such a like I, I became such a, a fan watching the first season and just I fell so much in love with all the characters and then just stepping on that scene, stepping on that locker room, seeing my own character's name in, in on one of the lockers just felt like so surreal, you know? Also in pandemic where everyone was a bit like, and then J I remember Jason was the first one shaking my hand because that's also a thing that we didn't do, you know? So it felt really surreal and like a warm bath. So. An experience I will never ever forget. Cool. How are you doing? How you doing? I'm all right. How are you? I'm I'm doing really good. Yeah. Uh, congratulations on season three. Like, how are you feeling now that the entire season is out? Relief. Yeah. I'm joking. Um, it's great. You know, it's it's amazing that people can see the entire body of work. Mm -hmm. You know, and they can go back 
to season one, episode one, rewatch the whole thing and get the entire story. And then you can make an opinion, you know? And um, yeah, it's great. It's really amazing that, um, that um, everyone can see how hard we've worked it. And the proof is there. Like It's been just such an incredible uh, journey to see where all these characters have ended up. Uh, there seems to be like quite a few loose ends at the end of this season. Um, if we were to get more story in the Ted Lasso verse, like, what would you want to see for Isaac, for uh, the rest of uh, AFC Richmond? Just kind of like the way that Fast and Furious went, you know? Kind of like, you know, they, they become like superheroes, you know? And, and Isaac McAdoo joins the Avengers. Why yeah. not? Why not? You know, it's, you know, super strength's gone, right? So you can have like super hearing, he can like hear, he hears everything, like even like inappropriate questions and stuff like that. So it's like, you know, a gift and a curse. But, I uh, mean, I think every superhero out there would agree with the the blessing and the curse of their yes. power. Yes, yes, yes. But um, you know, uh, what I would what I would want for for uh, um, Ted Lasso is just pretty much more of the same, uh, more talking about subjects that. You know, uh, we don't really talk about it in society as, as, as a whole. And, um, you know, dissecting through it and, you know, creating more art, basically. So, uh, for you as a person, as an actor, what has being a part of Ted Lasso meant to you? It's meant a lot. Uh, it's been four years of my life. And I've been around these, these lovely people. Um, and it's, it's, um, it's always going to stay with me. Um, it's, it's, it's massive. It's, 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 it's kind of like too much to comprehend in just a simple sentence because it's had such a big impact on my life and changed me as a person. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me and congratulations, thank truly. Hi, good to see you. How are you? Great shoes. Oh, thank you. Great kimono and pants. You look fabulous. Hey, congratulations on season three. How are you feeling now that the season is out and uh, the arc has been? Oh, well, it's now you can, we can share it all. We had to be quiet about things. But I think Jason always had that three series arc and... It's fantastic to end on a high and yeah. strongly. Absolutely. And speaking of ending on a high, May owns a share of AMC Richmond. More than a share, she owns a high. Yeah. So watch out. I, it was truly delightful to see that, honestly. And so my last question for you is like, what has what has uh, Ted Lasso meant to you? Oh. Well, I'm very proud to be in it. I mean, I'm a small part of it, but it's meant a lot to the public. And it's, I get letters from fans who, you know, have cancer and they have their treatment and go home and all the family get on the bed and they laugh and they cry together. And it's been really important to them. And one guy I spoke to recently, he moved during COVID. All his friends had a bubble to be in. And he didn't because he was in a new place and he said, and Ted became my bubble. You know, it's, um, it's been really, really important to folk. And so that's something to cherish, really, and, and wears a badge of honour. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Congratulations, oh, really. A yes. badge of honour. Yes. <laughs> it's a pleasure talking with you. Thank you. Sure. Right. All right, last one. Last one. How's it going? It's good to meet you. How are you doing? Hi. Hi guys, how are you doing? Very well. I think, we're, I think we're both fantastic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I have to say, Fawn Lost is such a beautiful song. Like I listened to it a few times now and it just like moves me every time I hear it. What was it like uh, kind of crafting the song and bringing it together? What was the inspiration for it? I'm going to let you start on this one, Jamie. Jo jo right, sorry. <laughs> Jamie, I'm, Jamie's so, author is our is the third person Actually, it, in feels, the song. it feels good at this point to yeah. introduce the Jamie, non-existent yes. Jamie. Jamie. Jamie should yeah. be here. Yeah. And he'd be standing here a bit taller than us. Yeah. Um, Photoshop him. <laughs> we should. It's, it's funny we'll make room and we'll he's put such him in a crucial middle. cog and we're getting to sweep up the adoration in his... <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but, but he said, we'll Photoshop him yeah, yeah. in later. Yes, um, for it, <laughs> I've known Jamie for, I mean, the first time I worked with Jamie was about 20 years ago, which tells you that I'm, I'm much older than you, doesn't it? Um, and, uh, and when I was working on, you know, composing the score earlier on last year, sort of May, June time, I was talking with Tony and Jason and I knew that we were going to need a song for later on in series three. And I called Jamie and I said, hey, do you want to get together and work on something for the show? You know, I've got, I've got a really good chance of getting it in. And uh, he said, yes. So we came up with this sort of concept of, you know, fought and lost and, 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 and a little seed of an idea. I then actually went to the Taylor Hawkins tribute concert with Jason and uh, I saw Sam performing there with Queen. And, Which is uh, bonkers. Yeah, that, yep. was, that, that was a crazy yep. thing in itself. And, um, and I heard him sing and... and you know, sometimes at these things, you're, you're there and you're listening to the music, but I was sort of chatting to somebody. And then when he sung, I, I kind of was like, oh my God, that's the most incredible voice. Went backstage, met him, sort of mentioned it, but at that point he'd never watched the show. So yeah, yeah, yeah. he probably thought I was totally insane. And then I called my friend Jamie and he said, I'm working with Sam in a couple of months. I mean, just completely coincidentally. Yeah. They got in, wrote the absolute hell out of the song, you know, vocal is everything on it and it slowly kind of came together over the next few months um, and uh, and we had what we thought was a classic yeah. f- for the ages song basically yeah. isn't it and it's so interesting like hearing Tom talk about that because it's it goes to show how many delicate little threads there are that make these things happen and one of those fails and it doesn't happen and in in a way that kind of encapsulates what the song is because we've all been part of things where some of those threads collapse and then it isn't meant to be and then you you live to fight another day and you carry on and um yeah i'm, I'm just absolutely honored to have been part of writing this song and been part of uh, it coming out into the world and um being part of such an amazing tv show and uh I, like I said, like you were saying, I, I hadn't seen this show. When, even when I was in the studio with Jamie, um, like fleshing out the idea that Tom and him had come up with, it, I, to, Ted Lasso was a world I didn't know. I'd heard of it and I'd heard great things, but um, it wasn't until after the song that I started going. And Binge, when it got accepted, it. <laughs> I was like, wow, I, wanna, I don't want this uh, moment because this is the first song that I've been a part of writing that has been in a TV show. So I didn't want to miss it. And I also was like, right, I'm going to watch and binge this thing, like nonstop, and it's the best thing ever. So when, when it actually came to be in the scene, and I was watching it from my couch, it meant something to me, and the song, like, meant something. And, um, yeah, I'm just so, so stoked. So last question for y'all, uh, because you just mentioned that you uh, recently binged the series in order to, like, craft it together. What have been your favorite moments from Ted Lasso? Uh, yeah, what have been your favorite moments? Uh, so I go no, no, you go, you go. Uh, the my favorite, I think the dad and dance scene is still up there with my, you know, all-time favorite favorite moments. In season, in this season, I think I've I actually really enjoyed all the Zava moments um, because he was just such a character. And then I really enjoyed the the I mean everyone's arcs overall, but particularly Nick Mah- Nate's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, and also Jamie. I thought episode eleven. His, I mean, his journey over the three seasons has actually been an incredible yeah. one. Over, I really hope that um, Phil gets some recognition at the Emmys for that because I think he really deserves it. But I, I, I thought his, his, his scenes and his performance in episode eleven were, I think, that and that episode I thought was a really real highlight for me in this season. I think you know, and it's also a highlight because that's the one the songs in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, for me, yeah, the, the darts is just sublime. Uh, Nate's redemption. I think is gorgeous. I think that for me, the, sh- the main sort of takeaway for me about the show is that hurt people hurt people and that you, you can never kind of heavily judge someone because you don't know what life has thrown at them and what they're navigating. Um, I like uh, Coach Beard's um, you know, mo- moment about, well, his night out, yeah, but also like his past coming to light and how Ted had... Yeah. Um, shown him great empathy and that had then inspired him to pass on that empathy to Nate in, who in turn shows that he will pass that on to others um, I, and I think that that for me is like that's the show if everyone watched it and carried those messages and carried those um, like lessons it, we all pass it on to, to people in our lives you know? thank you guys so much for talking with me and congratulations seriously